The Thermaltake Flow Ring RGB 360 TT Premium Edition sports three 120mm Ring Plus RGB fans and a glorious LED water block with native support for socket AM4 and LGA 2066. Superior cooling and a swarm of software-controlled addressable RGB LEDs make this CLC a perfect pairing for your unlocked CPU. Click the link in the description for more info. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're doing a fun kind of video where I'm pretty much just going to play around on Amazon and try to build the best PC I can for a ridiculously low budget. Once again, I am joined by none other than the infamous wifey sauce. She was Hi. hiding behind me sneakily the whole time. Uh, she's just going to be chilling in the background. Um, and actually, maybe you can help me with this video a little bit, honey. Uh, Sounds good. So I'm going to be trying to part out the best PC I possibly can for a very low budget. But I haven't really decided what that budget is going to be yet. So maybe you could just toss out a number. Again, a budget PC. I'm going to say less than, let's do less than $700. Could be any well, I think number you've done you a want. I $500 PC before, right? I did do the $500 VR PC back so in the day. Sure. Why yes. don't we take it down a notch and do $400? $400. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're really, really putting the pressure on. $400. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Okay. So $400 is the price point, but I don't, I don't want to cut too many corners at the same time. Um, you can build like a $200 PC, no problem. But if you're going to try to game on it, um, you're going to be making some huge sacrifices along the way. So let's try to get, let's see if we can have our cake and eat it too. Mm -hmm. Starting with the processor, um, let's see, the best bang for the buck processor under $100 has to be the Intel G4560 perhaps. It's 83 bucks. It's supposed to be way cheaper than that. Oh, there's one down there for 53 that one for 53, that's the G4400. Oh, sorry. This is G4560 right here. Oh. See, this is a good, this is a better processor. Um, it's a dual core, but it has four threads because it supports hyper threading, but it, it's a very good price to performance chip. It's LGA 1151, uh, it came out Q1 of this year, I believe, so it's fairly current. It's got Intel HD graphics, but we're gonna try to get a discrete graphics card in here. For $83 though, it's still, a steal, I would say, because other than that, you've got what Core i3, but you're going to be paying well over 100 bucks for one of those, and probably get similar performance uh, when you're when you're talking about gaming specifically. So, we're going to add this to cart. Go for? Uh, what a Core i3? Oh, these? Yeah. I like you should like. I think when they first came out, they were like 70 bucks, maybe 65, around 70 dollars. Um, this processor was just so darn good that uh, that's probably why the price has gone up since uh, Q1, but I'm still gonna add it anyway. We can always go back, nothing's set in stone. We can always change things around if we need to, but that's that's a good starting off point. So LJ1151, um, it's not unlocked, so we don't need a Z270 uh, chipset, for example, but we still need an LGA1151 motherboard. So let's do low price low to high. Five, oh no. My favorite, my favorite sorting option. Uh, look at this. $47. $47 for a gigabyte GA H110M M.2. Oh, it's got an M.2 slot on it. Probably won't do us much good at this price point, but you never know. Uh, micro ATX board, which is fine. You can usually find some pretty cheap cases uh, that are micro ATX. Oh, it's only got two DIMM slots, which for a budget build isn't an issue unless you really want to upgrade and max out the RAM later on. But look at that. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's got It's only got a four pin EPS connector for the CPU. Uh, it's got a PCI Express by 16 slot there. That's good. USB 3. I'm going to say we do it. Wait, 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 hold on. What's what's the next one up? Next. There's a $47. Also the same $49 price. One. Oh, this is LGA 1150 though. Screw that. And this is, and then it gets more expensive for the other ones. Okay, we're, we're going with this. The, uh, the H110M M.2. Okay. Adding that to cart. Good, good. Uh, no, we don't want a four-year peripherals. You want a four-year peripherals plan? Nah. Peripherals protection plan? We don't need it. For four dollars, it's only four dollars and seventy-nine cents. Yeah, we have a budget of four hundred bucks. You're right. We're uh, already at one hundred and thirty dollars, though. Way to stay frugal. We are already at one hundred and thirty dollars. I don't know if you can do this. I think we can. I think we can. So we got. Let's get the other big component out of the way next, which would be the graphics card. Mm -hmm. um, now it can be kind of tricky because with all the cryptocurrency mining that I was talking to you about, how that's been inflating the right. graphics card prices. Right. Fortunately, some of the lower end GPUs haven't been hit as hard with with the inflated rates. Right. So, let me see what a GTX 1050 Ti goes for. 
these days. Ooh, yeah, that's still, yeah, one, that's that's eating up a lot of our budget like right there. 150. We need a card that's closer to uh, closer to 100, I think. So let's just remove the TI, and we have the GTX 1050, which still has a two gig frame buffer for, that's still a little pricey. I think we can one, find, two, wait, yeah. 110, $109. For an MSI Gaming GTX, I actually have this card. I'm pretty sure it's ever so slightly faster than the RX 560, mm -hmm. um, even though they're about the same price. Two gigs, let's do it. Add to cart. Uh, four year PC peripherals protection for $22? plan. $22? For no. $22, uh, you sure? Yeah. All right, that was, that was a trick question. You answered correctly. Um, $239 so far. We still have, we have quite a few, bucks. but you know what? We have our big ones. We, we have our CPU, our motherboard, and our graphics card out of the way. And those are like, those are like the, the money eaters for sure. Okay. So next up, let's do, we gotta have RAM. We need, we need the RAMs. You could get away with four gigs. You could, but it would, be difficult to run certain AAA titles that just demand more of that particular resource. Sorry, my phone's going off. Uh, Battlefield 1, I know, is known to get a little bit of micro stutter if you only have a four gig stick in there, if I remember correctly. So let's let's do eight gigs. It's gonna be tough, man. How much does eight gigs of DDR4 go for these days? What's the cheapest you can find it? Crucial, four gigs. So we can get two of these. It's 30 bucks, 31 bucks for one stick. Is this ECC? I don't think so. I think this is just what a normal ECC. ECC is like a, it's like server grade memory, so it wouldn't work technically in this gaming PC we're building. Oh, I, see. I mean, it's not flashy by any means. Uh, Nand flashy. No, it's definitely not. Um, but it's functional, assuming it works out of the box. So um, probably doesn't even come in a box. <laughs> this probably comes in like a Ziploc bag. Uh, but for 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 thirty one dollars, we could get two of them. Uh, and we would have dual channel, and that would be better than just a single dim in there. Look, so you can get professional installation for only eighty-one dollars. Oh wow, great! For more than double the price of the product you're buying, we'll install it for you. Thanks, Amazon. No, uh, we're just gonna add this to cart. Let's add two of them. We're, we're already at three hundred. We just topped three hundred dollars because I put two of those sticks. So we've got yep. eight gigs here. So, so we only have we have we have ninety nine dollars. We have nine. Left. We have less than a hundred dollars mm -hmm. now to get our case, our power supply, and our storage. Our CPU cooler is already taken care of. Actually, I should have mentioned that because it, the, a stock fan cooler uh, comes included with the the CPU. Okay, well that's good. It's a crappy one, but it works. What, what do you think we should do next? Power case. supply. Ca Let's do the case. Well, case lasts because that's the most fun. Oh no! Wait, what if we could do? a case and power supply combo. Because you know, some you cases, like especially the really crappy cheap ones, mm -hmm. will come included with a power supply that's generally garbage. Mm -hmm. But if you're trying to save a crap ton of money, it could be a, it could be an option. I'm not gonna say a good option, but it's an <laughs> option. Um, so let's save, let's save case and power supply for last. Let's do uh, storage. Okay. Storage, I say, Let's start with the hard drive, because even if we don't have room for an SSD, at least we can put everything on the hard drive. Okay. Let's do a one terabyte. I feel like one terabyte's pretty standard, um, just because games are getting so much larger these days, and you run out of a 500 gig drive like that. So let's see what we got here. What is this, what is this? 80 gig, uh, that's not gonna cut it. This, however, for $5 more, you go from 80 gigs to one terabyte. This is Western Digital as well. Mm -hmm. Caviar Green. Hey, good for the environment. Add to cart for $30. Yes, we're doing it. And then, um... Now the power supply in case. Uh, well, hold on. Do you think we can fit an SSD in here? Oh, yeah. Because even though know. an SSD isn't You're required... You're the expert, not me. Even though an SSD isn't required, because we already have a hard drive in here, it makes the overall snappiness of your PC just so much quicker. Um, and it really is a game changer. So maybe we could squeeze in... Let's see. Do you think we can do like 128 gigabyte SSD? Let's see here. This is gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be tough. We are getting close. Um, 64 gig. I don't think this is gonna happen because we only have like $70 left to get a case and a power supply. You shush. $47. Then you're gonna have to pass on this. Hold on, hold on. Um, electronics. There's 128 gig SATA drive. Hold on, let me double check to see if that motherboard is actually, if the M.2 slot supports PCIe and SATA. Yeah, but how much is that? 40, yeah, it's $50. $50. But hold on, ultra fast M.2 with PCIe Gen 2 
Okay, so it's got PCI and SATA mode. It's got SATA as well. So the M.2 slot uh, on this motherboard actually supports SATA drives, not just PCIe or one or the other. That means this drive technically would work um, for $50. It is kind of steep, but let's Let's add it tentatively for now. And that gives us about $20 left for, if we can find a really crappy case and power supply combo, then at, at least then at least we're not really shortcutting much of the other components. We're still getting a, an SSD for our boot drive. That's a decent capacity. Um, yeah, CPU wanna, and GPU are pretty wanna, strong. You don't want an ugly case. I do not care what the case looks like if the budget's $400. All right. So let's just try case, case and power supply. So we've got this Logisys 480 watt. See, look, this one comes with a 480 watt power supply, but it's forty-five dollars. So that's not so do the lowest Let's, too. Yes. Da, da, da. Oh, 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 oh. Zalman ATX. Does this come with a power supply? Shoot, it does not. It does not. The Rosewell. Rosewell. Company. Come on, Rosewell. Oh wait. So there's an option for case and power supply. Oh wait, what the heck? That's a mini ITX case though. And it's $55. Okay, wait, does this not come with the power supply then? No, I don't think so. No, it doesn't. We might be in trouble here, honey. I think we're gonna have to get rid of- You might. The SSD that you just put in the car. Hold on, what is this? Cables Unlimited ATX. Oh, that is ugly. That's that a special a kind of ugly. ugly. Oh man. Only a mother could love a case that like that. That is awful looking. That's pretty, pretty gruesome. Hey, at least no one would steal your system, right? No one would like walk into a LAN party, look at that thing and be like, that's coming with me. But it's uh, $30, so I mean, you wouldn't really go that too far over the budget. And it comes with a 300 watt power supply, no, which is enough for our CPU and GPU. I think it's what, 75 watt TDP on the GTX 1050. Probably 65 watts, I would guess, or thereabouts for the uh, G4560. What is this? Crap, I don't think it has a power supply. For your budget, it's gonna be hard to find the two together. Nothing's impossible. Get I, rid of your SSD. I can do it. Get no, rid of it. getting rid of the SSD would kill me. That's a huge then compromise. you're gonna have to do the ugly case. Go back to M Mr. Ugly. Oh, really, we're gonna go with the, oh man. Are we doing this? There's only one left in stock. It's popular. I'm shocked. Hey, you know what? It's, it's got ATX support. It'll support our motherboard. Let's freaking do it. Oh man, this is gonna be the ugliest computer you've ever built. Adding to cart at $410. So we did go over a little bit. A little bit over. But $10 isn't bad. No. Honestly, most people have $10 at least to to fork out if they were gonna buy a PC like this. And this is cool because this is not too far away from like the price of a console. Mm -hmm. um, so if you were considering getting like an Xbox One or PS4 Pro, for example, or even one of the next generation consoles, I don't even know the names of them, but uh, for $400, I think that's a pretty good deal. Do you think we should just buy this stuff and like build it later? Yeah. Okay, good answer. So here's a final look at all of our parts for this $400 PC. Um, it's looking pretty good. I think we'll be able to, to run most games, even some of the AAA titles at high settings, because the GTX 1050, it's a pretty damn good bargain. Um, and uh, from what I've seen on like benchmark reviews and stuff like that, it's gonna pair really nicely with the G4560. So I'm really excited to actually see this all built and tested. So I guess you guys can consider this the end of part one to this little mini series build. Uh, thank you, Wifey Sauce, for joining me along. And thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this parts list in the comments below, and uh, feel free to toss us a like on the video if you enjoyed it. She's putting fingers in my ear now, so I'm gonna go and have yourselves a great day. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bitwit Ultra. Subscribe to Bitwit Ultra, my ad for your early access channel for a buck fifty a month. The first two weeks are completely free and you can back out any friggin' time. All right, guys. Before, before, okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. I'm gonna go now. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.